So I upgraded to the 5700 XT. And it's not as great as I was hoping. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's a nice upgrade. The performance is different, but just not as much as I was hoping for. I did get a couple benchmarks in Kingdom Come Deliverance and The Outer Worlds to show the difference between the 1070 and the 5700 XT, but of course I lost the footage for the Kingdom Come Deliverance. But here's just stuff for The Outer Worlds. As you can see, it's only like a 10 to 12 frame difference, but granted, that's probably because I play in 4K, which is what I have to work with here. I mean, my primary workstation is two 43-inch 4K monitors. They're great for productivity, but trying to play a 1080p game on that screen hurts my eyes. It's horrible. So 4K it is, which poses some issues with the memory bandwidth on most of the modern cards. In order to really push 4K at 60 with ultra settings, you really have to buy like a 2080 Ti or something. So I guess I'm not too disappointed in the slight increase in frames. It would just be a lot more noticeable at 1080p. VR, on the other hand, has been a totally different story. I mean, Fallout 4 was a complete stuttering, unplayable mess before. And now it runs perfectly smooth at 80 frames per second all the time, which 80 hertz is the max that the Rift S can support anyway. I haven't tried it on the Vive yet, but I'm pretty sure it'll be fine. Unreal Engine is also running better now. Sometimes the game would dip into the 70s, and now it runs perfectly at 80 all the time, which is fantastic. I haven't tried it yet on a standalone application, which is where the real performance benefits would be, but based on the fact that it's running great in the editor, it should run even better in a standalone application. So, I'm mostly happy with the upgrade. I would probably appreciate it a lot more if I played at 1080p or used 1080p monitors for my everyday work, but I don't. It would be even more noticeable if I used like super high refresh rate monitors, but I don't. Because I don't really think that they make 4K 43 inch 120 frames per second monitors, but I guess I'm happy with it. I really only had two issues when I installed the cards. I had an issue where installing the drivers just blanked out all my screens. Like, nothing. A simple restart fixed that issue, so maybe it was nothing. I don't know. The only primary concern I have ongoing is the heat that this card produces. The particular card that I bought, which is the FXX RAW 2, is... it's a hot card. It's the only one that was available where I live, and at 80 degrees Celsius, it's... Not enough to damage the card, but it's uncomfortable. I mean, my 1070 never got above, like, 70 degrees. The memory temperatures are even more concerning. They're at 93 degrees Celsius, which is just shy of the danger zone of 95 to 105 when it comes to GDDR6 memory. So, I might take it back and get a different model. I'm not sure, but... Anyway, that's all the time I've got today. My computer being out of commission for multiple hours yesterday is really putting me behind in my work, so I'll see you tomorrow.